In this Excel video, I will show you how to track progress toward a goal by using the Excel Rept function. Let's get started. So here I have a spreadsheet that has a list of car salespeople, and they have a goal of reaching 100 sales by the end of the year. You can see each month's total here, and then the grand total at the right. Here in column O, I would like to show their progress toward this goal. And there are several ways I could do this. I could use some conditional formatting to indicate how things are going. I could use a sparklines chart. But one of the best ways to show progress is to use the rept function. Let's look at how it's done. I'm going to start by clicking on cell O3. I'll type equals REPT, and this is short for repeat. You can see what it says here. It repeats text a given number of times. So equals rept left parenthesis. Next, I need to type in the text that I would like repeated. And I'm going to choose the pipe symbol, otherwise known as vertical bar. You'll find it on the same key as the backslash symbol. But because this is text, I need to put it in quotes. So quotation mark, I'll hold shift and type the pipe symbol or backslash symbol key. And I get this little vertical line. I'll put in the close quote, comma, and then how many times do I want this pipe symbol to appear in cell O3? Well, I want it to depend on the grand total that Ava here has collected. So I'm just going to click on cell N3. And of course, I could just type N3 in there if I prefer. I'll put in my right parenthesis, even though it is kind of optional. I'll tap enter on the keyboard, and look what I get. I get a whole series of the pipe symbol, otherwise known as vertical bar. And this kind of works, but if I click on cell O3 and go up to the Home tab, Home ribbon, in the font group, I'm going to change the font to a font called Playbill. I'll tap Enter on the keyboard and look. The Playbill font gets rid of the spaces between those pipe symbols, and so it looks like a bar chart. Now, of course, I could click on O4 and type out the formula again, but this time for Liam, but you don't have to do that. Just click on cell O3 and then double click on the little green square in the lower right corner. That's the fill handle. I double click on it and the same formula that's in cell O3 gets copied and extended all the way down the spreadsheet. The result is a beautiful visual indication of how each salesperson is doing. If I want to, I could click and drag to select the range of these progress bars, and I could change the color, maybe make it green, could make it red, whatever I prefer. Now look what happens when December comes and Ava sells 20 cars, maybe Liam sells 17 cars. These progress bars are updating based on current results. Let's say Zoe gets 25 sales in December. She's reached the goal of 100. Now I'm going to reduce that to just 16 so that she's exactly at 100 sales. And I'm just going to go up here to the column letter. I'll go between O and P and I'll just click here on the vertical bar and and drag it so that the edge of the O column is right up next to the progress bar. So this shows where 100% is. 100% takes you to the far right, right to this point in the column. So that's another indication of how each salesperson is doing and how close to the goal they're getting. Now this is just one use of the rept function. And with some creativity, you can use it for many other useful tasks. If you'd like to try this along with me, look in the description below the video for a link to a copy of this workbook, and you could watch the video again and follow along. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll find more information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic Super Techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for your support. You make it possible for me to continue to make these educational videos. Thank you.